Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. Make sure I get everything in the frame here. Anyway, so I was doing a brake bleed and I was like, why am I not recording this? So I'm going to do some brakes real quick. This will probably be a short one, but uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right, so my cyclocross bike is a 2018 Scott Addict. It's a pretty nice bike, carbon, very light, quick on the street, quick in the gravel. I finished the brake bleed and uh, I'm about to do some brakes. And I'm about to do brakes because I got something on the rear brake and it got on the rotor and the pads. So basically it took the brakes away effectively. And uh, yeah, so that, that doesn't work real well when you're trying to stop. All right, so let's get started. First things first, got to get this clip out of the way. Tiny little clip. And you take the little screw out. This is going to be my first complaint about this brake setup. And that would be the flathead screw. Who does that? Really? Sheesh. Silly, huh? Flathead screw. Ah. It's kind of comical, actually. Anyway, so you undo the clip, you undo that screw, and you just squeeze your brake pads together, pull them out. And there they are. Wow, look how much pad is left on there. That's like brand new, huh? Yeah. So bring you over here so I can show you. I mean, you can see that it's worn, but you can't really see the, the gunk that's on it. New pads. Put them in. I usually use a pick to get everything lined up. Bolt goes in. Tighten down this annoying flathead screw. <laughs> Sorry, Shimano, I can't help it. Put your clip in. And there's your brake pads. Now we gotta work on this rotor. Taking off the rotor. So I'm using a standard cassette tool. Put that in there. to unscrew rotor comes off so right now I'm gonna sand this rotor down um, it's not like a super heavy sanding it's just basically taking the layer off uh, from the pads from when they bedded in last time so basically when you bed in pads it heats up the rotor and heats up the pad so a little bit of the pad comes off onto the rotor and that's what causes the right amount of friction for you to stop um, and it helps you stop with more power and uh, precision if you will anyway so I'm sanding that layer off um, it'll also take off any of the gunk that was on there which I don't really see any on the rotor I saw a bunch on the pad so yeah if you can't get the stuff off of your rotor you're gonna have to replace it but Generally, sanding your rotor works and it'll help rough up the surface so that when you bed in your new set of brakes, they'll bed in a little bit easier and uh, it'll work well. Yeah. So, here we go.
All right, so get yourself some rubbing alcohol. And put it on your rag. Clean rag. It's basically wiping down the surface of your rotor just to make sure that you don't have any residual gunk on there from your fingers or any of the gunk that was there before. Pretty easy process. Let it dry out. You can also use, if you feel so inclined, you can use some brake cleaner as well. All right, so now put the rotor back on. Pretty easy. It's literally the reverse of taking it off. <laughs> yep, so let's put this rear tire on. I was like, what is getting in the way? It's my fender. That's what's getting in the way. Well, I think I found the source of a problem. I went through something nasty, because now I notice like my hand just got super oily somehow. And all I did was touch the rim. So yeah, we're gonna take that back off. Hey guys. So long story short, I uh, basically had to clean my bike. So anyway, got my bike all cleaned up. Got my brakes pretty much dialed. I'm doing a little bit of a caliper adjustment right now, which is, let's see. It's gonna be hard for you guys to see it. If I don't move to the right spot. Anyway, I'm adjusting my calipers they don't rub on the rotor. Um, there's a couple different methods that you can do. You can do it like this. Basically, you loosen your caliper bolts, apply the brake, and while the brake is applied, you can tighten up your caliper bolts. And if you can hear, it worked pretty well. There's just a little bit of a rub and that's where your little wrench can come in handy. So you just kind of find out where it's rubbing. You apply a little bit of pressure the opposite way of the rub. You look at your brake pad where it's rubbing and you see a little bit of space there between your pads and the rotor and tell which way to go. Also, my brakes are not bedded in yet, so that will also help this problem. So anytime you take your rotor off, replace your brake pads, All those variables equal noisy brakes. But once I get these bedded in, I'll revisit this. Right now it's fine. It's not like it's hurting anything. Um, it's not rubbing real bad or anything. 
Got the rear brake pretty much dialed. So yeah, anyway, that as they say is that. Now I just have to go bed in my brakes and that'll be that, so. Hey, what's up everybody? Sorry about the wind, it's a little windy today, but I wanted to come outside and show everybody that I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get these brakes dialed in, which I've been kind of doing it along the way. So they kind of are already, but this is just a really fun hill. And this is how I bet in my brakes. Get your uh, rotor and pads nice and hot. Do some quick stops and you'll feel the power start to accumulate. Try not to skid because that's really not the point. <laughs> but already, my rotors are nice and warm, and I'll be able to ride out this hill. So yeah, it's kind of a jaunt to get up here. It's not just a hill going this way, that's for sure. I do notice that resin brakes are a little easier to bed in than others, which is good. fast rolling and even pressured stopping. Do that about 10 or 15 times and you'll start feeling the brakes more and more. It does feel good. You can hear my back brake skidding every once in a while and like I said, that's not the point. <laughs> but that's it. Now we ride it out. It's a fun hill. Turn around quick so you can see that a little bit, maybe. Yeah. As always, the GoPro doesn't really do it justice, but there it is. I love that hill. <laughs> it's so fun to go down. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna ride for a little bit longer and uh, head back to the house and eventually start editing this stuff. So anyway, it's a little windy and uh, chilly today, but uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's a little, little different than what I normally do, which is uh, not a bad thing. So anyway, you guys uh, stay cool out there and ride safe, have fun, and we'll see you on the next one. Yeah, so this turned out to be real fun. <laughs> Got about a half a mile to the house and started pouring. Whee!